Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We are back with another episode of the Renegade Platinum Playthrough. Last time we went um, a little bit into the Velstone City Gym. We haven't completed it, but we have battled quite a few trainers. Um, and today I'm hoping we can actually take on Maylene. Now, Maylene's going to be a little bit difficult because um, I do know she has that Lucario. I'm pretty sure she's got it in this one. Um, yeah, she is actually pretty difficult with that because we can't just spam Gardevoir throughout this whole match. We have to watch out for that. So, uh, what I want to do is, of course, go up here. And we got this little puzzle. I got to push these little punching bags to knock out, you know, tires. Um, this gym is actually kind of a messy gym. What happens when you do knock out the tires? I mean... Watch them. It's like they just they just go through the floor and disintegrate. It's like how, is it like just so powerful these these uh, punching bags that were destroying the atoms that make up the tires? I don't understand that. But I don't remember if I battled this guy. Let's go ahead and see. All right, we already battled him. But this guy, I know we haven't battled him. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and battle him. Of course, um, we're going to have to get around some of these tires. Um, so, yeah, um, I do. I am more familiar with the puzzle in Diamond and Pearl than I am here with Platinum. So, we're going to try to figure this out. Um, get this fella right here. A close combat. That's going to actually hurt quite a bit. I think we should take one, though. And we do. That's a good thing about um, Marsh Tomp. It's got some pretty decent defense. And we just hit back with this Earthquake. It should take out the Hitmon Chan. And we're gonna just watch that HP barf. What? Okay. It's been taken out. Um, we have to go into something, and I think that something might be Luxray. I think we'll go Luxray for that Intimidate. Um of course, close combat's going to actually hurt a lot, but I don't know what else to do. I don't want to... <clears throat> oh, we're going to get hit with an Ice Punch instead. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. We just T-Fang, so Dark-type Luxury takes on Hitmonchan. That's nice. Um, Alright, um, but yeah, it's actually not bad. Um, I still want Pilot Swine to evolve into Mammoth Swine. <clears throat> that is the thing that I really need. And I think Gardevoir is going to be our main go-to. However, we do have to worry about that Lucario. Because if it bullet punches, Gardevoir will not be doing so hot. Um, so we just Psychic this thing. We're going to get faked out. Um, I mean, that sucks. But we can just hit it with a Psychic. Psychic, yeah, Psychic is stronger than Draining Kiss. And of course, with Draining Kiss, we'll get all that um, health back. But I want to hit it pretty hard, because Hitmonlee, actually, he has pretty decent spadef. If we can't hit it with with all that we have, it might actually survive. we got a Hitmon top here. Um, so a Hitmon top here. We're going to try Draining Kiss, or Draining Kiss on it, maybe? Really chipping us away with that fake out. Going to get a focus energy. Let's try to get some health back. We don't have to use a potion. Alright, um. <clears throat> we have to psychic. Luckily, the quick attack barely does anything. Um, I could have just went Dirty Kiss there, but honestly, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, I didn't want to. No risk, maybe this trainer having a potion. Um, I guess that's a, that's a thing that's happened so far. Pilot Swine's level 36. When do you get ancient power? That is the question. Pilot Swine's actually getting kind of um, ahead of the rest of the team. I have to figure out a way to prevent that from becoming a problem. Go ahead and move milk. That will completely heal it up. That's the thing about Moomoo Milk. It's such a good item. Um, just use a normal potion on the guard. I'm not worried about healing up 
Flux Ray, because it is a dark type in this. Um, I want to do this. <clears throat> Go around up here. Push it. I think we destroy the tires at the bottom. That way you can push that one up towards the top. Right? <clears throat> Alright, yeah. Um, right there. I could probably push it. Push this. Push it. You push it this way? Oh, we missed it. Alright, so we have to destroy these. Um, looking at it. I think we need to go up here. Battle this guy right here. I'll go ahead and battle him from this side. Um, and then you push it down, push it over, there'll be another one taken care of. Alright, we have a hair cross. Um, and these levels are actually starting to outpace us. Go ahead and... Aquatel. I'm gonna get hit with a bug bite. We should take that okay. Uh, like I said, okay, not great. Yeah, we're just going to Aquatel. Oh, that don't do much. That's all. You do see the bug bite incoming. Um, we gotta go into Inferni. Ooh! Making the players! Okay, we went into Polyrath. Oh. Um... In. I'm going to go into Venusaur. I see this thing going for a Water-type move. Oh, it goes Hypnosis. Oh, uh, we'll Giga Drain it. Boosh! Give us some... Give, give us some damage on this thing. Um, Polyrath does have decent bulk, so it will survive. Um, I'm going to keep spamming Hypnosis. Luckily, Hypnosis has such... Such bad accuracy that we don't have to worry too much about it. We'll just take it out with one more Giga Drain. Alright, so now, with that out of the way, um, we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and go into them for me. <clears throat> Might as well. Um, Heracross, if we're not careful, is going to destroy us, so we're gonna hit it pretty hard. Um, if you don't know, Heracross actually has really good attack. Um, so we're going to have to take care of it on that Spadef. Because I think it does have good defense. I think so. I'm not totally sure. Not totally sure. But Infernape will get a little bit of experience. I'm trying my hardest not to let it outpace everything else too bad. There's some situations where I have to go into it to save my skin. Over. Oh, I missed it again. I need to put my glasses on. These people are standing here wondering what's going on. Alright, so the last bit of tires is the one here. To touch that one, we're going to have to go around. Around, it looks like. Let me look at this over a little bit. We have to get up. How do we? How do we get over there? The looks of it. Eyeballing it right now. Um, <clears throat> you need that one back there to take out the tire. The left side and the right side. There's gotta be a way to get in there. 
right. Need that one to get through there. Even get to that one, you need to be in this little section that we're looking at. Oh! It's a lot simpler than I was making it out to be. Go ahead and destroy that. Go around right there. Um, let me just knock these tires out. So we actually have access to this little area here. And that will let us go to main lane, so... What we do now is just go down here and get stopped by that where I'm trying to around it. Now we can go up this way. Um, push this. And we can battle melee though. Before I want to do that, I think it might be a good idea to heal. Make sure we are topped off on the health. Melee's going to be a battle. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's even though I'm using my Moo's, I want to top them off. And there we go. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and push this out of the way it would look like. And that would give us access right there. Exit the stage. So, um, I would want to leave Gardevoir, lead Gardevoir, but... My opponent leads that Lucario, I'm already in trouble. So we'll lead Marsh Tomp. Um we'll just let Marsh Tomp go down if we have to, because honestly, Gardevoir is the thing I need to protect. Gardevoir is my win condition tonight. Um so let's go ahead face down Maylene. Maylene, if you don't know, uses fighting type Pokemon. Um and there's quite a few threatening fighting types. Here we have a Metacham. So, Metacham is a psychic fighting Pokemon. And it's got high jump kick. That might actually just knock us out right off the bat. Oh, yes, it will. Give you an idea of how powerful this thing is. Um, and how threatening it is. And we have to... I'm gonna go ahead. It's gonna ice punch us. Um, we should take that, I think, maybe? No, I don't know. We do. Draining Kiss, give us some health back, please. Mm -mm -mm. We should take another ice punch. We we'll see this thing just heal itself up. This is ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead, Draining Kiss, one more time. Um, as long as we don't get frozen or critted, we should be good here. There we go. Uh, we are still in this. Yeah, these levels are starting to catch back up to where our other Pokemon are. Um, Gardevoir is still my win condition. Broke. Um, Broke's actually a pretty fast Pokemon, I think. Marsh Tomp would be pretty nice here, but without it... Go in for an ape. I don't want to have to do this, but this person's leaving me no other choice. Got a crow gun. Um, I can flamethrower. If this thing happens to have the dry skin ability, I don't know if it does in Gen 4 or not. If it does, that should help us out. Gosh. Alright, um use a hyper potion that doesn't bother me because we're just going to put you back where you were and if we get a burn boy piano um we're actually going to take it out that time though that works out perfectly Gallade. so Gallade is coming in oh jeez, i need my guard again I might actually go Luxray for the Intimidate. I think I have to. Uh, 
You just sack off Luxray, I think. What's Luxray going to do? I, I could T-Wave this, at least. If we happen to live the Drain Punch, which would be great, I can fire off a T-Wave. It won't, though. That doesn't bother me. We got that Intimidate, and that's actually pretty important. Um, let's send out our Gardevoir. So, this is basically Glade versus Gardevoir. Um, I'm going to Drain and Kiss. It's going to Reflect. It's going to try to make it where it's tougher for me to take out whenever you send a physical attacker. I feel like a two-hit KO right there. Um, okay, it's going to Zen Headbutt. We should be fine. Alright, and we get some of that health back that this thing just knocked out of us. Um, so... So far, um, so far, so barely squeaking by. There is the Lucario. So this is the thing I'm pretty terrified of. Um, I think I have to Infernate and Flamethrower, because if I don't, Lucario destroys everything. That shiny, well, not shiny, uh, but the, that's... Um, which uh, flamethrower? I should up speed, right? Yeah, and that will take care of this thing. I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain it's not going to live a flamethrower. It lives a flamethrower. Oh, it's got a focus sash. Oh my gosh. If things come down to it, we might actually lose. Um, I think what I want to do is Ice Shard. Ice Shard will take it off from this range. Boom. And then we can heal up. And revive. I got revives, right? I can revive Infernape. Or even heal up Gardevoir. Just let Pile of Swine take one for the team. I think that's what I might have to do. Um, a champ. Yeah. You're gonna have to take one for the team, finally. Champ's one of those mons that is a huge problem. Um, I do have revive right there, so... We're going to use a Moo Moo on... Carnivore of doesn't even need it. Uh, we'll use a revive on... Because when it comes down to it, we're going to probably need eight. We'll let this thing just take us out with a close combat. That's actually pretty nice. That means this is going to have a, a reduced sp uh, speed death. So maybe Gardevoir can handle it on its own. What you just use? It's got guts! Oh, what?! We're going to have to psychic this thing. Oh my gosh. Alright, no, <laughs> oh, we took it out. Oh my gosh. This is actually some advanced plays that Maylene is going for. Infernape, her last mon. We should be able to handle it with Gardevoir. We should live that fire punch, I think. I think we should. You don't. You don't live a fire punch. Um. What I want to do is go into my own Infernape. Close combat. If we get knocked out, we do have another revive. Um, we just go into Venusaur, revive our Infernape, go back in. That is how we win this. Woo! It actually survives, and it didn't take that much damage. This is me. Being... <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that reflect. I forgot about that. That reflect was still there. Alright, so, um... 
a bit of a bind, are we? Um, this alien is why you invest into Revive. The one thing I have to say that's a good thing about, you know, some of these fan-made Pokemon games is good thing they don't give some of these trainers revives because that would actually make it tough. Um, so we just let Venusaur take one for the team. That thing's got life orb, does it not? Taking damage. Got our own Infernape here. Um, just close combat. What? No! No! What? What? No! We still did it! Still did it! <laughs> we did it! Aileen, you were so... Oh my gosh! I was, I was like, oh my gosh! We did it though. Oh man. We did it. That was too close for comfort. Right. I am. These gems are getting tougher as we go along. They are actually getting tougher. We can use Fly. Do we even... We don't even have Fly. We don't even have a Pokemon that can learn Fly, do we? That might be something we need to do. Got Drain Punch now. Drain Punch isn't that bad. I knock out these last bit of tires. I just cleaned your entire gym, Maylene. We need to take care of this thing. It is, like, really bad in here. You got, like, holes in the floor... Tires. You got punching bags in very awkward positions. Like, who's going to just stand in that little corner and do it? Oh, hey, there's Don, too. Oh, what do you want, Don? Hi, Chabri, can you help me? Team Galactics took my Pokedex. Need your help to get it back. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse, please. Um, I, dude, I think I'd rather go home. Um, but yeah, if you don't know, that's our next... Our next... Thing on the docket. We're going to go face Team Galactic again. Um, they've gotten Don's Pokedex. So let's go ahead and heal up and we'll end this episode here. Um, this is actually a really good timing where we ended this episode. Um, we got a lot done. Facing Maylene, that's a lot. I was like, I was so scared. I was like, that Hyper Potion with that Inferno, I was like, Oh, does that just negate everything? But luckily, uh, Melee no longer had that reflect, and her own close combat bit her in the in the backside. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next episode of the Renegade Platinum playthrough.